Morning everybody, how are y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good myself because today we are going to be looking at another Nintendo fanboy and he's actually the same exact fanboy that we looked at in my last video where he was trying to claim that the Steam Deck was a complete failure and it just was not successful because he said so basically and he is now basically doing the same thing with Elden Ring. Basically, this entire video can be summed up as Elden Ring isn't successful because I said so. Basically, this dude is just 150% in denial mode. He cannot handle the fact that Elden Ring is actually selling well because, you know, he's a Nintendo fanboy. Any video game that sells well besides a Nintendo game, it's just not selling well because only Nintendo can have good selling games. No other game can do well. But seriously, imagine having so little of a life that the thing that gets you up at night and what you're really concerned about is how well a video game is selling. Like, you cannot make this up. But anyway, guys, we're not going to keep this intro too long. I say we just get into the video, shall we? Hello, everyone. This is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King D.L., Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. And boy, is this topic overdue. I've been so busy, I haven't been able to really sit down and talk about the discrepancies when it comes to the Elden Ring sales numbers. Uh, well, clearly you did have time to talk about it, but you just didn't want to. Because if you look at this dude's channel, this dude has basically been uploading every single day, at least in the month of April and sometimes he actually uploaded multiple times in a day so yeah you're already lying straight out the gate dude not really a good look as we speak uh, Elden Ring has kind of passed the honeymoon phase people aren't really talking about it as much anymore uh, it's kind of yesterday's news and I mean we're like 30 seconds into this video and this dude is already in 100% denial mode because even now like uh, this video is a bit older it's about a month old but even now in May a month after this video came out Elden Ring at least from what I've been seeing is still extremely like talked about it's still an extremely popular game even now people are absolutely still talking about this game and to think that it's this popular two months later like honestly I wasn't really paying attention to Elden Ring a month ago I recently just got into it like what a week or two ago something like that but even though I wasn't paying attention to the hype I still knew that this game was being talked about constantly I just didn't pay attention because I didn't care at the time so I guess denial mode activated right now the main thing that people are trying to use to keep talking about it is the sales numbers and the concurrent users on Steam, uh, both of which are kind of ridiculous. Well, if you're talking in terms of the game being good, I agree. Just because a game sells well and there's a lot of people playing it, that doesn't mean it's necessarily a good game. I mean, he's going to use this example in a minute here, but a great example is Candy Crush. Like Candy Crush, you know, it has a ton of people who play it and it has a ton of downloads but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a very good game but in this situation we're not talking about if the game is good we're talking about if it's been successful and if it's selling well that was the whole point of your original video and you're trying to twist Elden Ring's insanely good sales and insanely high concurrent player numbers not just on Steam but on all platforms like I think the fact that this game had almost a million consecutive players on Steam alone, not considering any of the other platforms that it's on, especially the platforms, you know, it's better optimized for, aka the Xbox and PlayStation. I think that's actually insane in all honesty, and that really does prove that this game was a huge success. Like, again, going back to the Candy Crush example that he's going to bring up later, a game selling well and being played by a lot of people does not necessarily mean that game is automatically good, but it does show that the game is successful especially the concurrent um users on steam because I, I keep seeing this come up over and over again to like to try and prove that certain games are better than others like no one cares no one fucking cares i'm sure candy crush has more concurrent users than elden ring has right now and that doesn't make it a particularly good good or interesting game and there's the candy crush example that i mentioned before but by this logic all your precious precious nintendo switch exclusives like mario odyssey and zelda breath of the wild those games aren't very good because as you just admitted a higher player count or more sales of a game does not exactly equate to how good a game 
game is. And I'm bringing up Zelda in particular because he's about to use this as an example throughout the rest of the video. And I think you guys are going to actually need to strap in your brain cells because the amount of stupidity we're about to witness is not something you should be exposed to on a normal basis. I don't care how popular a game is, okay? I care how good it is as a game. And as it stands, um, nothing I've seen from Elden Ring really indicates that it's really a game worth playing or talking about. I find this very funny coming from a Nintendo fanboy who constantly praises Breath of the Wild because I actually just recently acquired and beat Breath of the Wild, and I absolutely loved it. That game is fantastic, but honestly, afterwards, I said, I told myself, once I beat Breath of the Wild, I'm going to start playing Elden Ring, and so I did. I beat it, and now I'm playing Elden Ring, and as great as Breath of the Wild is, I just love Elden Ring so much more, honestly. The world is so much more diverse. Like, part of my problem with Breath of the Wild is a lot of it feels very samey besides some different environments but Elden Ring everywhere you go feels unique and the game feels so much more rewarding when you conquer a difficult challenge like that's not to say Breath of the Wild is easy because I definitely struggled a bunch but Elden Ring just feels so much more rewarding when you finally conquer a difficult area you've been trying at for a while so honestly I don't really know why exactly you're trying to say that Elden Ring doesn't interest you when you know considering how much you love Breath of the Wild you should actually really be interested in Elden Ring. If it wasn't so vastly overhyped by Twitter Twitter users and YouTubers, I probably wouldn't be talking about it at all. This is the most frustrated I've been with a new release since uh, probably Doom Eternal. Okay, first of all, of course, this guy doesn't like Doom Eternal, probably because, you know, it didn't launch day one on the Switch. That's probably why he was salty about it. But also... Could you imagine being such a petty, jealous little person that you actually get upset and frustrated when a video game does well? Like, could you actually imagine being that petty? Like, why do you care how well a game does? Why? Uh, probably... You know, Horizon Zero Dawn comes to mind because I've been playing that a lot. Like, they're... Every year, it feels like there's one game, uh, Sekiro, like every year, it feels like there's there's a game that the establishment, uh, the established game media try and push onto the consumer as being like the game of the year. No, dude, it's not just the game's media that's saying Elden Ring deserves to be game of the year. It's literally the millions of people who have bought it. I absolutely agree that as far as we've seen so far, unless like God of War blows everything out of the water and, you know, as if it actually does release this year, which again, like I said, in my last video, I'm a little skeptical of. But yeah, anyway, Elden Ring absolutely does deserve to be game of the year as of now. And it's not just the game's media saying that it's all the millions of people who have bought Elden Ring as well but how funny is this that he's talking about you know the media pushing what game should be game of the year when you know nintendo games have won game of the year before especially you know breath of the wild which again this is going to come up soon but i guess by this guy's logic since breath of the wild won game of the year 2017 it just didn't deserve to win because the media was pushing for it to be game of the year as well as the consumers uh, which is clearly just an attempt to astroturf and pretend that Nintendo isn't dominating the uh, the industry. Like, it's always shit that nobody actually cares about. Like, Okay, not once in my entire history of hearing about Elden Ring have I ever heard anyone using Elden Ring to say that Nintendo is dead. Like, what are you actually talking about, my guy? Also, what makes you think that Nintendo's dominating right now? Because if, if anything, like, yeah, Nintendo's doing very well, but I would honestly say that that PlayStation is probably dominating in terms of the popularity standpoint, but in terms of just getting units out there, Microsoft is because, you know, they pay to get chip priority. So I don't really know what your point is here. Why does everything always have to be about Nintendo? Oh, wait, it's because you're a Nintendo fanboy. My bad. But again, I've said this before, but could you imagine being so insecure about which platform you primarily play on that when a game that isn't exclusively released on that platform by that company does well? Well, you automatically see that as a threat to the company that you worship like dude just because Elden Ring is successful does not mean Nintendo is going to die what are you so worried about Dragon Age Inquisition The Last of Us uh, uh, Sekiro uh, what was what was the game of the year and again I don't even remember what a lot of these game of the years are like God of War 2018 like 
I don't even remember a lot of the, the Game of the Years in the last decade, because all of them are very forgettable, very, very bland trash, right? All of them are awful. And this is what I was hinting at earlier in the video. Apparently, all Game of the Years are awful no matter what. So, by this logic, Breath of the Wild, because it was Game of the Year in 2017, Breath of the Wild is just a terrible, awful game. So, is a Nintendo fanboy really going to say that an exclusive to his console is awful? I mean, dude, come on. Did you even think this logic through before you said anything? But not only does he think it's awful, but he also thinks it's extremely forgettable. So, you know, the double standard never fails to amaze. And it seems like uh, what the industry is trying to do is set up Elden Ring to be the next game of the year. And um, right now they're trying to push this narrative that Elden Ring is one of the best selling games of the past 12 months. Now, that's obviously not true because it hasn't outsold Call of Duty. Okay, so first of all, apparently if you don't outsell Call of Duty, you cannot be a well-selling game. So apparently, according to this guy, Elden Ring, it's not one of the best-selling games because it's not the best-selling game. 10 out of 10 logic there, my dude. But also, can we appreciate how poorly this statement aged? Because literally yesterday, it was announced that Elden Ring outsold Call of Duty and is now the best-selling game of the last 12 months. Like, you cannot make this up. And I swear, I didn't even plan to make this video, like, whenever that news was announced. This is just pure coincidence, and you really love to see it. Like, what are the actual odds of that? And I'd also... Uh... I'd also suggest it's obviously not going to outsell Pokemon, but... Dude, I think this guy might actually be a glass of milk in the hot summer sun, because everything he says and does ages so poorly. Elden Ring has already outsold Pokemon Legends Arceus. Like, you cannot make this up. Everything this dude says eventually is proven wrong. And it's not very surprising, because, you know, he's a fanboy, so he's just gonna throw random stuff out there, no matter how false it may be. But at the same time, it's honestly just amazing how wrong this dude is. Like, I have also need to to address the fact that, like, I don't believe the stated numbers from Namco Bandai are real. Like, the 12 million in, in a month figure, I, I have a really, really hard time that that many people have bought Elden Ring. Like, you know what, dude? They're absolutely right. They're just gonna lie about their sales numbers because that's not perfectly illegal and wrong whatsoever. Absolutely, dude. Any company, as long as they feel like it, they can just lie about the sales numbers of their games or products. This is how you know this man is 100% in full-on denial. He actually thinks a corporation is gonna come out and illegally lie about their sales numbers. Like, good God, dude. You are desperate. Also, he says he has a hard time believing that many people bought Elden Ring. I mean, of course he does. He's a fanboy. He thinks everyone should only buy Nintendo exclusives, and if any other game sells better than a Nintendo exclusive, then it's just a mystery. He cannot comprehend why people might like a game that he doesn't. Like, it didn't feel like that big of a release. It didn't feel that relevant. It didn't feel that... It didn't feel like a phenomenal major release like on par with uh with skyrim or a new grand theft auto or something like this this was just a new dark souls game again this dude is so far in denial he has lost the ability to comprehend any logical thought he's right about grand theft auto but dude skyrim only sold like what was it i think ninety thousand copies in the first month and elden ring has sold over 12 million you cannot try to twist this and say that elden ring is unsuccessful also how can you say that elden Elden Ring isn't a big release when it's already the best-selling game of the last 12 months and it's sold 12 million copies in the first month. Like, yes, Skyrim was extremely successful, but if Skyrim was extremely successful and popular and it sold 90,000 copies in the first month, imagine how successful and popular Elden Ring is if it sold 12 million copies in the first month a new entry in like a relatively niche franchise that has only garnered interest due to being a somewhat different playing IP in like a sea of identical open world action games, essentially. Um, 
Well, by your own logic, Zelda Breath of the Wild falls into that generic, you know, similar feeling open world action game, and it's very likely that Breath of the Wild 2 will as well. So, again, why are you bashing Elden Ring when one of the games you praise so heavily, aka Breath of the Wild, is very similar in a lot of the regards and points that you're bringing up? Like, I suspected this game might sell a, a little bit, uh, a little bit better than Dark Souls typically does because of the open world gimmick and like the push for the casuals and like having George R. R. Martin involved. But like the numbers they're giving uh, don't make any sense. Yeah, they don't make sense to you because you're a Nintendo fanboy. And obviously, if the game isn't exclusive to Nintendo, of course, it's not going to make sense to you. But to everyone who actually has two functioning brain cells, it does make sense why this game sold so well. It does not matter what makes sense to you. What does matter is that the game objectively sold very well, and you're trying to downplay that. All right, they, 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 uh, they don't make any sense to me. Like, I'm hearing people, like, say it outsold Breath of the Wild, which is impossible I'm i mean you're absolutely right man it's impossible for any game to outsell breath of the wild and you're absolutely right when it comes to it hasn't outsold breath of the wild yet but the fact that in the first what two months of its release it's sold over half of what breath of the wild has sold in the last five plus years you know that's a pretty impressive like number i guess you could say or whatever that's pretty impressive in all honesty and i think as time goes on there's a very good chance chance that it will outsell Breath of the Wild, but no, sorry, it can't because it's just impossible because Breath of the Wild is just too good to be outsold by that dirty Elden Ring. I'm seeing people like say it's uh, going to be one of the best selling titles of the year, which again is impossible. Like, it So not only is it impossible for this game to outsell Breath of the Wild, but it's also impossible for this game to be the best selling game of the year like this dude is such a fanboy it's not even funny at this point like why do you think provide one logical explanation for why this game won't be one of the best selling games of the year please provide one logical explanation because the only other games that i really know of that are coming out this year that are really big is god of war and even then I, again i think that's going to get delayed but whatever let's assume it does come out this year you said that god of war is terrible as well so I mean, if Elden Ring of all games isn't going to be one of the best selling games of the year, then what is? It, it, it feels as if uh, the Elden Ring fanboys are trying to find any possible thing they can use to weaponize, like to try and pretend this game is a bigger deal than it is. You mean kind of like how you're trying to find anything to weaponize to downplay Elden Ring's success? I don't know, man. Seems a little bit hypocritical. Like, people haven't taken, like, user, uh, Metacritic score reviews seriously since The Last of Us Part Two debacle. So, now they're going to, now they're trying to transition to sales numbers. I find this very ironic coming from a console fanboy because you guys always point to Metacritic reviews whenever you have nothing left to use in your argument. Also, I could have sworn that earlier in the video you were trying to say Zelda was better because, you know, it sold more than Elden Ring, and apparently, according to you, it's not possible for Elden Ring to outsell Zelda, so, again, dude, a little hypocritical. Trying to push this narrative that, that Elden Ring is, like, the most popular thing ever, and that, that simply isn't true, uh, in my, um, from what I've observed. Did you guys notice that? That was kind of spooky, actually. Like, he's just talking about how, oh yeah, Elden Ring, it's not the most popular thing ever. All these fanboys are making it more popular than it is. And then right in the middle of that sentence, his brain just, like, shuts down. And he just stares off into space, and he's like, what even just happened? And then he just starts up again. It's almost like his brain hit max capacity, and it had to restart the conversation from where he left off. That was kind of weird, not gonna lie. Like, it feels very much just like a core dedicated group of people who are desperate for something to play on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, pretending that this game is, is a much bigger deal than it actually is. Kind of like how you sound like a salty little Nintendo Switch fanboy who's upset that he can't play Elden Ring on the Switch, so now he's finding any reason to not like the game and to bash it even though you're objectively wrong about basically everything you've said.
I uh, I don't see this doing better than games like Breath of the Wild or Animal Crossing or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and nowhere near that. I'm going to have to press X to doubt that this game isn't going to outsell those games because this game has released on every single gaming platform except for mobile and Switch, so more people have access to it. Also, I'm hearing people talk about this game way more than I remember anybody talking about Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart, or Animal Crossing for that matter. And considering how much it's sold in the first two months alone, I think this game has a very bright future ahead of it in terms of sale numbers. I mean, that could be wrong. I could be completely off the mark with that one, but something tells me a multi-plat is probably going to sell better than an exclusive game. Not even like 10 million less sold than that. Like, 15 million units sold is probably pushing it. Like... Well, Elden Ring must really be pushing it then because it's far past 10 million and it's coming up on 15 million with every passing day. So, once again, this take aged like a glass of milk in the hot summer sun. Um, Bandai seems to, like, put these, like, over 10 million figures. I'm not sure how they're faking the numbers. Um, I imagine it's, like, shipped, not sold, or... Or something like that they're, they're doing something to pretend this game is selling more than it is like it, they might be like giving away copies to youtubers or uh, bundling it with other things like uh, there's all sorts of things we can do like there, there's a precedent for this like I, i'm about to make a video about horizon zero dawn uh, and how they padded out those sales i don't know exactly how they did it but it's safe to say that elden ring is nowhere near as popular as the fanboys are claiming well, you heard him, guys. Apparently, Bandai Namco is just completely faking their sales numbers, even though that's perfectly illegal, and they could not do that if they wanted to. But anyway, guys, that's going to just about do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will catch you all next time.